In this video, we're going to work out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of sine, generically, sine mx, sine nx dx. All right, so in other words, a problem like this would fit this type of scenario. I've got the sine multiplied together, and I'm taking the sine of two different things there. Okay, now the easiest way to go about doing this is to use a trig substitution. All right, so when I've got the two sines being multiplied together here, I can do the one half cosine a minus b minus cosine a plus b. All right, now I have to choose this 3x or this 6x. I've got to choose one to be a, I've got to choose one to be b. All right, now you do want to be careful here. Um, you've got a minus b. All right, you do not want to pick your a being a 3x because then when I subtract, I'd have a 3x minus 6x. All right, that's going to give me a negative in there. It's going to make it the problem a little bit harder. All right, so you can choose which one of these is going to be your a and b because technically I can multiply any two things in any order. So if I want the 6x to be the a, I could have written this integral as the sine 6x sine 3x dx. Okay, so with that being said, I am going to let... We're going to use the a and b from up there. My a be the 6x and my b be the 3x. Okay, now doing that, I am going to substitute this trig formula for this integral right here. So then I'm going to have the integral of a 1 half times cosine. I've got to do a minus b, so 6x minus 3x, and then minus cosine. I've got to do a plus b. So 6x plus 3x, and then dx. All right, on this next step, I'm going to go ahead and pull that 1 half out and do the arithmetic there in the center. So I'm going to have 1 half times the integral of cosine of a 3x minus cosine of a 9x, and then dx. Probably print these around, both of those would be good. <clears throat> Okay, now at this point I'm subtracting two individual integrals, so I can integrate them each separately. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to show that step here. We'll have a one-half times the quantity of the integral of cosine 3x dx minus the integral of cosine 9x dx. Okay, now hopefully, I'm hoping that you could do both of these um, integrals uh, very easily and maybe in your head. All right. Um, if not, let's. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do. Um, I'll do the cosine of 3x, and then we'll leave the cosine 9x for you to do on your own independently. All right. But this would be just a straight u substitution where I would let u equal um, my 3x. When I take a derivative there, I would have a du is equal to 3dx, and then I divide both sides by that 3, so I'd have a du over 3 equals dx. So basically, I'm going to be pulling out a one-third right there out of that integral. Okay, um, so showing that hopefully is going to be enough to get you through that integral. All right, because if you're at this point working this type of integral out, then this type of integration should be relatively simple. All right, so we'll have a one-half here. Okay, times, all right, pulling out that one-third, I'll have a one-third. The integral of cosine is sine, and then keeping that inside right there. All right, now looking at this one, um, I will be pulling out a one-ninth, and the integral of cosine, again, is sine, and leaving that inside function alone. And then at this point, I can go ahead and put that C on because I've actually integrated. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and distribute the one-half. So I'm going to have a one-sixth sine 3x minus a one-eighteenth sine 9x and then plus c. Okay, so after that initial trig substitution right there, then it pretty much turns out to be a straightforward um, integration. I would recommend that this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it. Okay, you really don't want to attempt probably that integration by parts because um, I think this is just an easier approach. Um, definitely thanks for watching, and if the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks.